nice. And this friend of mine, his name is Cheyenne. He's completely out of control. He's an amazing human being. He's donated a lot of money to Love Pop, right? But he's doing something completely bonkers in about two hours. Bonkers. Okay, what are you doing in two hours? I am driving my brand new Tesla underwater. Welcome to Chilling with Chet. This is Tesla Submarine. Are you about ready? Yeah, yeah. Have you have you seen this part? Yeah, but the uh, the girls are about ready to shoot. Yeah, what, whatever, dude. I'll, about that minute. I don't care. I've always wanted one of these little guys. I'm potty certified. So it would be nice to go swim with the fishes. <laughs> what are you doing? It worked. <laughs> I just had an idea. It's crazy. But having these thoughts lately, like of something I could do with this car. I think we drive it underwater, like a submarine. Hey, there's the HOA guy. Come over here. Can I drive my car in there? Welcome to Chet's Proving Grounds. Oh, this is like the best and worst thing I've ever done. I feel like a tractor guy when I, when I look back like this. It's like a tractor guy move. You guys can go get lunch, whatever you want to do. Tell Jason to put me on the time card. I'm literally getting one now. Now it's on my list. But I gotta buy some dirt. There's like 40 acres over there we should go look at. We're just, we're testing a lot of uh, Chet math. <laughs> and I don't know if that's... Uh, Chet math. <laughs> we, Chet math is more <laughs> trial and error. Yeah, not so much. It's not, out. you can't just put it on a marker board and then it's gonna be exact. Hey guys, welcome to the first session of Chet math. All right. So this is gonna be the view as if we're looking directly in and we have our vehicle. The basics are, we'll have a water line here, seven feet. It'll be about 90 to 100 feet long. And the big question here that everybody's been having is how do you drive an electric car underwater? Well, we're basically gonna seal up all of the different areas inside keep as much water out as possible then we're going to be adding roughly 3,000 pounds of weight we have to do the math now so 64 pounds of upward force per one cubic foot let's say 100 cubic feet inside of the cab fenders the doors air that will get trapped when i drive underwater we'll just say another 50 that's 160. 64 pounds of force up pounds of buoyancy so buoyancy force up, that makes sense. Times that, and that roughly equals 3,000 <laughs> uh, pounds. When you go underwater, things that are buoyant become more buoyant, but because I'm in a bubble of air, if I add this all together, plus I have 5,000 pound car, plus 240 pounds, plus 3,000 pounds, 8,000, 240 pounds will be the entire weight of the car with me in it. That can be a problem if the car does short out and stall under the water. We have that all prepared for. I have um, some fishing line and a car, another Tesla to pull me out. So I should be pretty good. And other than that, Robert's gonna be a lifeguard. So we have that there for safety. I do have a scuba tank. I'll at least get at least four or five breaths of air from that, so that's nice. David Hasselhoff loaned it to me for the day. Other than that, oh, I've basically thing. gone through everything. What about the uh, warranty? 
Oh, the warranty on the, oh, on the car? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it voids it, but we just won't tell them what happened. Like, like electronics don't really show electrical shorting or anything. Like, I, like if you take a phone to Apple and say, oh, it, it didn't fall in the water, if it just stopped working, there's like no way they can tell. But I do, if I do take a total loss of a $150,000 car plus 20,000 for the premium I paid for it, so if I take a total loss of $170,000, then minus all of your salaries, then you just basically have no jobs left because that is unrecoverable if this is lost at the bottom of the pond. So I have about 51% confidence that's gonna happen the way I planned it out. And that's like all the time I have 51% confidence. So every time, all day long, I have full confidence. I think it makes total sense. Oh, we're heading up to Gruber. They specialize in uh, rack salvaged Teslas. So with, uh, with our water stunt that we're gonna be pulling off here in a few days, we wanted to go up there and pull, basically pull the car apart. I don't know if they really pulled apart the S, this, the plaid version yet. They're gonna pull it all apart and pull the plastics and stuff. We're gonna look for all the electrical connections and then kind of point out the architecture of the vehicle so we can prevent any, you know, you know water damage as much as we can. All right. How you doing? Chet, how are Thanks you? Thanks for finding me, Pete. Welcome to Gruber Motor Company. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You got a couple guys. Hey, how you doing? Luca, nice to meet Luke, you, sir. Nice to meet you. Son, Peter, Peter? nice, nice to, meet to meet you, finally. All right. Good. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. Yeah, we do. This is going to be awesome. quite an event. Already. All right. So, yeah, there's your, that's your 18650 cell. That is a lithium-ion vape cigarette cell. <laughs> there are 7,104 of them. This was a Tesla innovation. The story that we get, the reason that Martin Eberhardt and Mark Tarpany decided to go with a small form factor cell, they didn't want to pay royalties on the big pouch batteries at the time. And these were royalty free. And they realized that if you connect these in parallel, bunches of them, you're going to end up with the same end result without, point, you know, without paying the royalties. So this is the Model S module. They call these sheets, these are modules. Mm -hmm. It's got bricks, a little fewer than in this one, but it's the same technology, 18650 cells connected in bricks in parallel, and then the combination of that is connected in series. So you asked earlier, what do we do to these? We either find the bad cells, like you see in these little red spots here, mm -hmm. and then snip them out, or we repair the battery management boards, mm -hmm. which there's one on every single module, and you can see there's some fairly small componentry on here. What we do is actually troubleshoot it right down to the chip or the component level mm -hmm. and then replace uh, whatever's wrong with it. The third thing that sometimes happens is you get water ingress, which is something that you're going to be worried about because that's basically yeah. a tub. Yeah. So if you've got water down in there, especially salt water, you've got something conductive in there that's, uh, that's messing with all of your batteries. So there's a boot that comes down over these. This is, these are the CAN input signals and these are low voltage. This is the high voltage output here where you get your 400 volts at hundreds of amps coming out. That's going to be the most vulnerable area when you're underwater because this is in the floor of the car. What, what battery was this going into? This comes out of this Model S. And what was this model? Uh, this is an 85. The reason oh, okay. I can tell is it's got the penthouse and it's got the two extra modules. Oh, okay. So it's an 85 kilowatt per hour pack. What do you think would be much different if and when you get one of these coming in from flood damage? <laughs> <laughs> if we get a flood damage, uh, yeah, glad that would be cool. You know, cool I don't. For you. Yeah, we haven't taken one apart yet, but I don't anticipate any substantial differences because, from a scale of economies, it makes more sense for Tesla mm -hmm. to keep the design uh, mm -hmm. as constant as they can. All right, so they're gonna uh, pull all this plastic out. We'll start pulling the plastic. There we go. That must be the air tank for the air ride. So my other thought too is, yeah, we, I want to seal this whole front all of this, why, you know, why leave it open at all? If that doesn't do anything, but this definitely, let's just seal it. When we close this, and if we do a decent job at sealing it, I'm creating more air. Correct. And I need more weight Correct. to counteract that air. I think I'd rather go that direction than, than and have less weight and the car start to float and I don't have traction, it's not work, pull me out. Then I can say, all right, let's pull the plastic and allow it to flood and try it that way. It's basically one big RC 
car. Car. Yeah. And I've done it. I've yeah. I've driven an RC car underwater. Too, as long yeah. as you're moving, you're fine. And that's stuff without sealed connectors. Mm -hmm. We're talking about cars that already have the sealed connectors. Yeah. So considering that, yeah. if you're moving, I think you'll be fine. Just turn off the AC, we'll seal up whatever we can, obviously. My concern is if the car stalls underwater, do you think it will automatically apply maybe the parking brake for a safety feature or anything like that? I don't think it's gonna go into park. Mm -hmm. If it does go in park, obviously you have a tractor. Yeah. And it's water, slippery. Hopefully you should be able to we'll get be able it out. Yank it out. Yeah, now, exactly. the other thing I have, which I think would be fine, if it's stalled out and then it was in free moving forward mode, it'll, those motors will roll backwards. Yeah, it doesn't no, matter. No, regardless, yeah. It They're all, it's all free, it's open diff, it's all free rolling. It's the electrical free charge yeah, exactly. that changes in there. Correct. And tells it to go reverse exactly. or forward. The field of the motor will dictate which way it's going right. to move the car. So if I stall underneath it, let's say my electronics still work, you think I'll still be able to call Elon and ask him if he has a, a way to get out and turn it hey, back on? Hey, you don't know. As of right now, it's a no for an answer. So unless you ask, <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> I, might, I might try to call him. I don't know. We'll see. Can water get into the battery pack from somewhere else? And what and what happens if it does and kills you? I just want to make sure yeah. that it's it's well thought through and that there's yeah. guys. I mean, I get I get the publicity stunt, but also mm. there's real voltage under the, under your ass right now. Mm. And like, if that gets into the wrong place, it's going to kill you. So I got to manage the risk of that happening. Yeah. I know you're not trying to kill yourself. I'm just saying. <laughs> I know, but I'll have I'll impress you with. If it is, with it's our the protocol. worst suicide ever, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, I will leave everything to you in my will. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. Um, uh, that comes with a, a Tesla, a slightly color. water damaged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just want the yellow Mitsubishi Eclipse. <laughs> that's, that's it. it. That's it. That's your... all I want. <laughs> How much silicone do you think you'll need? We'll use like a gallon. <laughs> gallon. <laughs> a I do shot. feel better. The fact that there's guys that clearly know their way around a Tesla mm -hmm. are allowing you to continue and proceed. Not yelling at me. Is right and not. Or they're just. They haven't called the cops. <laughs> they haven't reported they haven't me. Called. <laughs> Honestly, we just want to see the carnage. They just want to see. <laughs> no, we want to see the carnage. They're not going to do anything to ruin it. Yeah, they want to be a part of it either way. So they can see it, and then also if it does well, they're like, see, uh, Gruber helped out. I just don't want my dirt ruined. <laughs> What's worst case scenario? Water on the electronics, or I have too much buoyancy problems, and then I got to pull it back out and add more weight. But at least it still runs and it doesn't glitch. So I have to default to keeping as much water out. And I think that's what we're gonna try to do. Uncle Chad shows you how not to seal the inner inner uh, well of a Tesla. Thought it'd be a little stickier. They're trying to mess my side up. I'm trying to sabotage it. Just right. testing it. I've been distracted. I haven't been able to finish my side yet. <laughs> oh yeah, this side looks completely different. Hey, I understand water dynamics. He does not. <laughs> yeah. So it seals up in there. Do I think it'll make it? Yeah. Listen, I'm a big fan of it making it, but I think there's a lot of obstacles. One is I'm pretty convinced that the electrical systems are going to shut down as soon as the car is half submerged. I'm giving 50-50 odds. All right, guys. So we got about 4,000 pounds of extra weight. We got about 2,500 to 3,000, 500 up here, an additional 500 of extra stuff in me included in that so it seems to be holding just fine but now that we want to trailer it to my house to test it on the boat ramp we're going to test the buoyancy up in the front and our plan is to pull it in and see if uh the front end will submarine or not that's the one thing i'm really concerned about with how much cubic feet of air we have to displace with this thing all right i'm pretty good no, just shed water perfect right there. There's one sealed unit. Look at it. You get I think it's gonna work. Mm. Alright, I'm ready. Let's go. Becky's fat. <laughs> Sorry we bent your, your steel ramps. Or the whole trailer. We're testing it. You're a redneck and you want to sink a Tesla. I think this is how you do it. <laughs> How's the front? Good. Is it buoyant? Bubbles everywhere. Is it buoyant? You still got plenty of that. As long as you don't go over the tape lines here. 
your front's just about to drop off the concrete. Go right a little bit. And of course I have a neighbor coming. Those are sealed, so it should be good. Or at least we'll know if they are All right, I got water coming in the cab, I think. Yep, I got water coming in. All right. So yeah, see here, that's my wet, but look, look. Down here, you got wet all down here. Well, good thing is it backed out, no problem. It didn't slip at all, it didn't care at all. It was still It didn't glitch. Around. Yeah, but it wasn't fully under. No, it wasn't even halfway. Yeah, but once it gets fully under, then we'll, that's the only one we're gonna know. But I'm definitely thinking another 1,500 pounds. Fill up the back and get as much as I can up towards the front. Submarine, my ass. All right, guys, so we're basically prepped and ready. We uh, pulled a lot of carpet out, did a lot of uh, electrical prep inside. My test in the pond uh, earlier uh, this week basically proved to me that I had a lot of water leaks. So stopping that all up, and the last step is get it up on the lift, put the bumper on the hitch on and wrap the entire base of the Tesla and then seal it all up from the top down at the track with all the added weight we're gonna be putting in. Should be about four to 5,000 pounds of weight when we're done. I, I need this thing to go to the bottom and stay there and drive all the way through. So that's the plan, guys. I have it on. I got tickets. I got tickets today. <laughs> Good show. I have this friend of mine. His name is Cheyenne. He's completely out of control. He's an amazing human being. He's donated a lot of money to Love Pop, right? But he's doing something completely bonkers in about two hours. Bonkers. Okay, what are you doing in two hours? I am driving my brand new Tesla underwater. And why are you doing that? I've never seen an electric car go fully submerged underwater. Won't that just so ruin it? <laughs> uh, maybe. Basically, we sealed it all up, and that's adding about four to five thousand pounds of lead. So I'll be like contained inside the cab of it, and hopefully, not much water will come in while I do it. I'll be entering in, dipping down, going underwater, and then coming out the other side. Aren't you also trying to get this to Elon Musk, right? You're going to text this to Elon. You had his number. Yeah, the story goes that he heard about what I was doing and he told the guy to tell Uncle Chet, here's my number. So he's going to get a special video right at the end. I'm going to send it to him. Underwater test complete. We are go for Tesla submarine. Oh, all right. Welcome to Chilling with Chet. This is Tesla submarine. Oh my god. No way. It's gonna sink. Give me a second. Give me a second. It's gonna sink. Josh, get ready to really pull me here. All right, I got a lot of water coming in. Let's go. Pull hard, pull hard, pull hard, pull hard. All right, straighten it out, Josh, and pull. You're good. Keep pulling. Keep going. Keep pulling. Stop. 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 It broke. Okay, is it still under power? No, I can't get it into gear. Oh, I can now. Let's go. 
All right, guys. Well, uh, mistakes were made, and uh, we're gonna fix them. And I'm really not that discouraged. I think the car's still running; it's fine. It went to a little error mode and whatnot, but it's not like the sensor's plugged up and the fact that it went sideways. So what we'll do is go do a battery disconnect right now, and then like basically restart your phone <laughs> and uh, continue to let the water drain out. We got a lot of it out already with the shop vac. And the car is running fine. It's just saying I don't have traction control and some other stuff right now. So it might have limited my power, but it's still driving out. So we'll go uh, get on the asphalt now and just kind of assess the situation, see what we got. All right. All right, guys, so this is the aftermath. We tried to go through the water, uh, what, two days ago now. So we've had it all open and drying. We just uh, we just opened it up. We still had quite a bit of water in here. Still a lot in here, man. I think that one guy was right. Just... Not even funny. Poor execution. Dumbest thing he's seen ever. All right, pulling the weights out. Only a little bit of water. I promise you, come hell or high water, I will drive this thing through that trench and it will do what I want. If it doesn't, <laughs> I pity the Tesla people out there because I will drive this straight into a trash can and never look at it ever again. If it doesn't do exactly what I want. And what I want is turn it into a submarine and drive under the water and emerge on the other side successful. So getting through kind of how we did floated and, you know, stalled out and then, and then got going again, um, you know, felt like a tie and I'm really kind of irked by it. And uh, I, I, I don't like failure and I'm gonna finish this damn thing. So that's what's happening next. A little bit more weight, hit the Chet math table, recalculate. <laughs> And uh, we'll see you guys on 2.0. All right, guys. So I just want to make sure that you remember to like, comment, and... Um... Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be giving this away next week for free to just anybody who comments. I'm kidding, dude. I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm, a, I'm a, a complete and total idiot, as you can tell, but I ain't that stupid. I will give away that that uh, Mission Beauty though. <laughs> but you gotta buy like a shirt or something when they're ready. <laughs> I need help, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe with the notification up there. That really helps me and uh, helps the channel. Appreciate you guys.